two things could be responsible for that fishy smell that comes out from the vagina. And this fishy smell is usually stronger immediately after sex. Good day everyone and welcome back to Nurses Lecture Room. My name is Messi Mary, popularly known as a nurse with a difference. And today I'm going to be sharing with you two things that are likely going to cause that fishy smell from the vagina. And what I want to tell you is that one of these two things is caused by sexually transmitted infection and the other one is not caused by sexually transmitted infection. I decided to separate these two so that we have a better understanding because I saw a comment on the comment section where a lady said, Nurse Messi Mary, I am a virgin. I've never had sex with anyone, but I don't know why I keep having this fishy smell from my vagina. Nurse Messi Mary, can you talk about it? That is to show that this particular lady is associating fishy smell to sex. This particular lady feels that when you're having fishy smell, it's possible it is sexually transmitted infection. But that is why I'm here to educate you that that fishy smell might not be as a result of sexually transmitted infection. So let's talk about the cause of that fishy smell that is not related to sexually transmitted infection. And the cause is bacterial vaginosis. As the name implies, bacterial vaginosis, bacterial vagina. So it simply means a bacterial infection in the vagina. If you've been following on my video, I've talked about the fact that we have both the good bacteria and the bad bacteria in the vagina. Yes, your, your vagina has a good bacteria. And if there is an imbalance there, there is an imbalance, it can cause imbalance in the pH and it can cause that fishy odor that you see. So bacterial vaginosis is one of the cause of that fishy odor. And for a woman having bacterial vaginosis, the other signs that she is going to experience or the symptoms that she is going to experience alongside with that fishy smell, the first one is a thin layer of discharge. You're going to be seeing thin discharges that could be either white, gray or greenish so if you are having thin discharges that are either white gray or or greenish that is attached to that fishy smell it could be bacterial vaginosis and some other signs that are usually attached is that bunny that irritation during urination so if you want to be there's this pepperish this bunny sensation you have and also another sign that is likely going to pop up is inching or irritation around the vagina so if you're having all these signs and symptoms around uh, alongside with this smell that is usually stronger after sexual intercourse, that could be as a result of bacterial vaginosis if you're having sex. So bacterial vaginosis is one of the cause of that fishy smell. And most times, if you visit the doctor, they are going to prescribe some antibiotics for you to help treat the bacterial infection. They can prescribe some metronidazole and some other antibiotics. But one thing I advise is for you not to do some safe prescription, but to speak with your doctor and get antibiotics prescribed to get it treated. Okay, that's one of the cause. Then the second cause of that foul smell could be a sexually transmitted infection known as trichomomiasis. Yes, trichomomiasis is caused by a particular parasite, unlike the bacterial vaginosis that is caused by a bacteria overgrowth of a particular bacteria of bacteria. But trichomomiasis is caused by a parasite known as trichomona vaginalis. Trichomona vaginalis. So you might experience this fishy smell also from the vagina because trichomomiasis is sexually transmitted and you can experience that fishy smell too. Uh, um, similar to bacterial vaginosis. I don't know if I'm making sense. So this two um, vaginal infection can actually cause fishy smell from, um, from the vagina. So if you're having trichomomiasis and you are treating it, you are under treatment, it's advisable for you to treat your partner because if you don't treat your partner, your partner is going to reinfect you again with this particular infection, okay? When on treatment, take your partner alongside, both of you get treated so that you don't end up you know, start passing it from um, one person to another every time after treatment. And also it's advisable when you are on treatment, stay away from sex for some particular time till the treatment is over. So that is what I personally advise, okay? So in terms of avoiding this fishy foul smell, especially that related to um, 
bacterial vaginosis. It's advisable you stay away from scented products. It's advisable you stay away from fragrance around the vagina. It's advisable you avoid touching. It's advisable you change your tampons, your pad regularly. Generally, it's advisable to maintain good environmental hygiene. Right? Environmental hygiene around the vaginal region. That's your personal hygiene. Maintaining good personal hygiene, changing your panties regularly and things like that. You like it going to keep your vagina looking fresh and smell nice. Okay, the vagina is self cleansing. You participating or involving yourself in a personal hygiene is going to do it, go a long way to keep the vagina healthy. And for the sexually transmitted infection, if you are not sure of the person you are having sex with, it's advisable you use a barrier method of contraceptive to prevent STIs. And that could be a diaphragm or a condom. Okay, so that is what I have to share with you today in regards to bacterial vaginosis trachonomiasis and the fishy smell from the vagina all right so thank you very much for staying tuned thank you very much for watching this video don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to share with a friend if you got value for all my returning subscribers this is not messy may you say thank you bye and see you in our next video